Moving on, in the collective effort to help and protect Israeli civilians living in communities most affected by Hamas's rocket fire, Yad Ezra Shulamit is sending aid to the front lines by the truckload. And here to tell us more about it, Danny Gurwitz, resource developer for Yad Ezra Shulamit. Danny, thanks so much for being with us now. Yad Ezra Shulamit has been doing its part to help in the midst of this rocket fire. Tell us a little bit about what that mission is. All right, first of all, thanks for having me on, Aaron. Yad Ezra Shulamit in peaceful times delivers 10,000 food baskets a week to Israel's poor and needy. Um, but very often, as we all know, living in this uh, neighborhood of the world, uh, there are other emergencies that Yad Ezra and Bishulamit has to contend with, and one of them are military operations that uh, seem to find themselves in the South. Uh, so what Yad Ezra Bishulamit does very often, uh, and is doing as we speak, is sending truckloads of food baskets to the poor and needy who just cannot get out of their bomb shelters. There's been a continuous rain of rockets down South, and these people just can't get out to get basic foodstuffs for their families. So, so Yad Ezra meet, sees where sees where they, and they go down and they get the food back to the people. So uh, again, if you could speak to why this assistance is, is so critical, because I mean, you make it sound like food is not getting to the South. Is that the case? Well, I would say that food is getting to the south. I don't think that any of the f major food suppliers in Israel have stopped shipping down south. You would hear about that probably before he was uh, uh, of the rocket fire. Mm -hmm. But what the problem is that people can't leave their bomb shelters because of the continuous rain of rockets that are going on down south. Mm -hmm. You just can't leave. I mean, that's very, very hard to us to understand, me and Mala Demim, you and Tel Aviv. But uh, there are, it, it's just constant. So people don't want to or are afraid of leaving their bomb shelters. So we can go, go down and bring a lot of the food to the poor and the needy who just can't uh -huh. get out of the bomb shelters. And, and endangering yourselves in the process, it sounds like. How many people is Yad Ezra Shulamit able to reach for distribution purposes? Well, as soon as my drivers, we're, we're able to send down trucks, truckloads. Each truckload can feed about 500 families. They have uh -huh. food baskets enough for, uh, for that amount. And um, we just keep sending it as fast as we can find drivers. It's just, uh, it's tough to find people who want to drive down south, but we have the trucks ready and hopefully we can send more and more as we get the drivers that are needed. I think what's interesting here is that, you know, when people want to help, they, uh, they think of, wow, Magin David Adom, emergency services, Hatsala, Army, soldiers, these are all very, very worthy, noble, and very needed organizations that get assistance. But I don't think that people realize that people also need food. Yeah. It's and tough. not that food is scarce down south, but the people cannot leave the bomb shelters to go to the grocery or the supers to get the food. So, so that's where we hopefully will fill in some of the gaps. So, fi so final you know, comment, if you can tell us how ILTV viewers can help. Well, I think there's a link down there, and everyone who's concerned about Israel, who wants to help, we would love for them to sponsor a food basket per family. I mean, there's no end to the amount of people that needs this. Uh, we're currently, we're serving Nitivot, Sterot, and Ashkelon, but there are many other cities that are in need of these emergency food baskets. So however many drivers we can find and however many food baskets are sponsored, we can get it down there. So we have the infrastructure. Yad Ezra Vashalamit is very well versed in getting food out to poor and the needy. And all we have to do is just get a little bit of uh, assistance from our viewers out there. That would be wonderful. And uh, drivers that can help us go down awesome. south and distribute the, uh, the badly needed food. All right. So you heard it here. Danny Gervitz from Yad Ezra Vashalamit feeding the needy, the most needy in Israel right now. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on, Aaron.